hi um i'm just adjust my camera a second so seen a few posts um on facebook about the woven nails and I think they're coming maybe back into fashion or it's a really good time to practice at the moment if you've got stuff at home. I luckily work from home, so I, I'm, well, when I can be motivated, motivated, I'll come into the cabin. Um, so I did these last August and I did post a video on the Nail Tech Network page, but I can't find it. And because my phone was full, I transferred everything over to Dropbox and I can't find it in there neither. So I just thought I'm going to pop on and show a quick demonstration on how to do this classic woven nail. Um, I stumbled across it by accident with one of my clients and um, we just did it there and then on her nails. <laughs> um, and then I was adamant I was going to practice and get better at it. And it is quite straightforward and you don't really need much of anything. Um, so with that being said and done, I'm just going to apply a gel polish on top of here. I'm just using Bees Knees by NSI Polish Pro. I'm just going to give it two coats. Uh, I'll pause the video whilst I pop it in the lamp and stuff. Uh, there we go. Just apply a nice layer I love this color I just don't think I could wear it I just don't think my skin tone would look I don't think it looked right on me okay I just don't want that there like that just spread it out and then I'm gonna pop it into the lamp 30 seconds okay so I've applied two coats of gel polish on this nail and I've also used a matte top coat to finish at the moment I'm using Kiara Sky matte top coat usually I just use an NSI one but this is the one that I've got before lockdown so it's the one that I'm using because I've run out basically um just to simply explain this design is just dots and lines a little bit shading so don't overthink it um, and practice. So I'm going to use some Crystal Nails Royal Gel in black and what I want to think about, I'm just going to keep checking that I'm in shot as well. Uh, what I want to think about is where I want it to go. So I'm just having a little think. Dipping my dotting tool just a small amount of black um, and I'm going to place my first dot around here pull it over and dot here don't worry if they are not equal dots it actually doesn't matter okay so there's your first two dots so then I'm going to Put another one there and another one there, almost um, like in line with this one's. So, my terminology of all of this is dots, lines, innies and outies, <laughs> um, but you'll see. So, my next so this, imagine, is my first sort of overlapping belt. So my next one, I'm going to bring down to about here. Try and leave an equal gap in between. Still in shot, am I? Yeah. Um, I'll go through the shading and stuff as well because that's what gives it the effect. And I want to add another one there. Almost picture your cube, your set of four. See, gone a bit messy with that one. Doesn't matter, be all right. And then I'm gonna pop 
I'd say I've gone a bit twisted on them two bottom ones. <clears throat> if you can see I'm following it down, it's just come off a little bit there. So I just want to get a tiny little bit of cleanse and just clean them off and reapply them to bottom ones. Because they don't look like they're in line. Just gonna wait for that to dry. My skin's terrible at the moment, it's really dry. Okay. I think it's because I was... So I'm going to bring it to here. Bring it to here. Go in a little bit here. Follow the, the, the nail tip. And back into my gel. And I'm going to do another one here. So, so far we've got 10 uncured gel dots. You want a really fine striping brush. I'm going to be using a uh, skinny striper. It's an NSI collection. Uh, it's just what I use. It's really thin. And all I'm doing is just coating the bristles. So in my lid, I'm just rolling the brush through some gel that I've got in there. And just making sure that I don't overload the brush. If you find that you've got bobbly bits on your end of your brush, then you've got too much product on there. Okay. So now what we want to do is start thinking about our innies and outies. So this first section... By the way, this gel doesn't move, so it's going to stay put so I can wear on. Um, I want to think now about innies and outies. So my first one, I'm going to do, I'm going to call it a belt, like the first bit of the woven thing. I'm going to do it as an innie. So when I say this, what I mean is I'm going to do my line to meet up with this from dot to dot on the inside of the dot rather than the outside or straight through the middle. Hopefully that makes sense. I can't think of any other way to explain that. So I'm going to go on the bottom of that dot and I'm very lightly, because we want thin lines, pulling my brush to meet that dot. Okay, I'm just going to go turn it round because I want it the same thickness and just do this. Okay, so because that is on the inside of them dots, this now needs to be on the inside. Now, if you aren't comfortable with going into your uncured dots, pop it in the lamp and give it a flash cure. And then you can just do your line work straight on. So now I'm going on the inside. I'm going to zoom in and show you what I mean. Okay. I'm going to turn it around and the inside of the dots. So there's my first line. Just get a bit more gel. Just pop some in my lid. Okay, so that one is going to be my innies. This one, so this one's, that one's going to go over. This one's going to come down here now. So this one will come down. So I want to go on the inside, well I'll carry on doing these first, because all of these, these and this one are all going to be innies. So again, I've got a little bit too much product on my brush now, um, I'm going to go on the inside of each dot. Now other people may explain this completely different or they may do it completely different, but this is the way that when I've seen the design I just thought it worked for me so everybody's different so you can almost see it taking place now and then on this bottom one it does help to have the designs at the side of you as well you know just for your just for your eye really just to make sure you are not going too off because it, it can mess with your eyes again on the innie
Okay, so they're all done on the innies. You can flash cure. I'm not going to. I'm just going to carry on. Now we want to do the lines coming down and down here and here. So we want this now to be an outie. <laughs> oh, um, just get some of that off. So I just keep twirling my brush in my pot, in my lid, um, it, just to stop it from pulling at the end. Okay, so outie. So from the outside of this dot here to the outside of this dot here. Turn my brush around and do it this way, it'd be easier for me. Okay, same on this side, outy and outy. I haven't been in the cabin, cabin for a few days, to be honest. Just put the heating on in here. It's a little bit cold and it's raining. There we go. Okay. So, outy and outy. This one, outy and outy. Outy. Remember it's woven, you're going to do shading, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit wonky, if you, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect lines or anything, I'm just going to get this like this, okay. Um, if you do park your and you make a mess, then you, you know you can wipe it off and carry on with your design. Again, on this little bit down here, I'm going to go on my outie. And outy. Okay, so hopefully now you can start seeing this take shape. Um, now I want to do my lines coming down on the innies. So, innie of this dot, about there, pull it to the edge. I was going to call it a roof. What's wrong with me? Okay. There we go. Um, I'll probably upload this to my YouTube channel. I am trying to get that up and running. Um, it's something that I've tried before and then I just didn't have the time to do videos or edit or I got myself in a pickle. But I think I've got to grips with it now. So I am going to pop it up on um, my YouTube channel. And I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that bought my online 3D course. And next week I will be uploading another course for probably the same price, £10 on offer. So now, any. So I want to get to there, to there. So I work better like this sometimes. And pull it back in. And pull it. And then you can research these. There's loads of different designs. You can do like twisted ones. Um, there's loads. They're pretty though. Any, any. And can you see how it's got thinner? Oh God, I hope I was in shot doing all of that. Uh, you can see how it's got thinner as it's gone down the nail, which is good. So now we want to think about doing these bits. So. It's on, this line here is an innie. So this one here needs to be an outie. So come to the top of that dot and pull. Okay. Again, get to the outside of your dot. So it's the top of that dot bottom of this dot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a little one in there because it needs it. Now look. Brilliant. Okay, well done Kate. Self-praise and all that. <laughs> oh. 
real life isolation problems, isn't it? Going bloody batshit crazy. Okay. In this bit. Pull it. Don't worry if it doesn't meet the ad end. So bottom of this dot and pull it. Outside of the dot. Outside of the dot. Oh, a little bit too low there, but it'd be all right. So I'm just going to bring this now and just make it. And then this bottom one, I want to go. I don't think I've done that. Inside. That should have been on poo pants. Okay, I can correct it. It should be on the top, but it's not. So now I want to try and be really clever because my whole design's wet, isn't it? Probably using a cotton pad isn't the best thing to do. You could just get some clear uh, gel and wipe it off with that, but I ain't faffing, gone. Um, top of the dot, Kate behave yourself there you go so that's that that is that now all done hope this makes sense gonna stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds okay that's due to come out the lamp in a second but just before it does uh royal gel is non-tacky um i did the matte top coat remember put the gel on top of the, the matte top coat and it doesn't need a, it doesn't need a top coat on top of that so it's all going to be good um it's not it's it doesn't stick it's not sticky or anything Oh, I'm really sorry about my words. Um, I'm going to, for this purpose, for quickness, I'm going to be using something um, from Crystal Nails and it is called Glassy Crystal Arc. And basically it is um, like see-through black polish. I've had it for donkey's years. Um, a pot doesn't seem to go down because you don't need very much of it at all. Got myself a little template. And this is for your shading purposes now. So I'm just going to add, give it a good shake because it's been sitting on the shelf. I'm going to add some onto my template. I'm going to start shading it. And there's a certain way to shade it as well to make it look that 3D like it's popping out, which I'll go through. Also, there was something else I was going to say then as well. Oh, yeah. If you don't have this, that's okay. Get some black gel polish. Pop it onto a little palette add some clear top coat to it and water it down that way it's the same same principle okay probably don't need all of this let's just get some out and then i just want a little brush um just to shade with what can i use um Oh my god, why is this decision so hard? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not functioning very well today. I'm trying to work out now using my paints where these my gels. I've got different brushes for different stuff. So one side is for gel and one side is for painting, but I've had a real good swap around in the salon. I can't actually remember which ones are which now. I'm just having a look at the bristles. Yeah, this is a gel one. So I'm just using um, a little one stroke gel brush. Doesn't need to be anything special. It's only just, just to put the shading on. So now, again, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So my first shading, I'll get the tip. There we go. It's going to be on the top, so above the line. Um, you obviously, I am going to use. Um, you don't have to top coat like I, I explained, but to get the effect, you want it all matte. So I will put matte top coat on the top once I've finished. So okay, dab it. Don't need loads, and it may look like you haven't got anything there. It doesn't need to be a perfect line. Literally just tapped my brush into the uh, polish. 
and then I'm just tapping it along. So I'm now doing what I'm going to be calling my outie and it's my outie of this original first square. So this second square, outie. Okay, get that and then pop some along there. Okay, so once you've done that now, I want to do the top of here, top there. And you can see I'm using like tiny amounts because you don't want to overdo it. So if that's at the top, then this one's at the top of this line. Okay. Alexa, turn it down a little bit. I just realised the she was playing in the background. Should be alright. Okay. Doing along there. Do along here. Do along here. And you can see I'm slapping her arm. <laughs> Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to pop it into the lamp and give it a cure because I just need to figure, like at this point, because your next stage is your white lines, your highlighter. So at this point, I want to have a good look at it and make sure that I haven't missed out any bits that should be shaded and I have missed out some. So take it back out of the lamp, go back into my gel and focus I've missed I've done all the lines going across I haven't done my line going down where it's going to be an inny so inside inside okay so we want to leave we want to just do your original four squares inside inside three squares however many it is inside inside um, so we've done inside on them so now we want to think about this is the outside. God, it's gone really hot in here now. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. Pop it in the lamp, give it a full cure. Okay, full cure. Um, and it's sticky that. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to pop the lid back on that. And I'm going to use for my white another product. Again, um, this is a Crystal Nails product. Um, and it's called Art Gel. There are other brands, but this is just what I've got. I've had, I've had them for years, so a long time. So I'm just using what I've got. So this Art Gel is, is really thick. You'll see it now. When it comes out the tube it's really thick but it's so highly pigmented you only need the most tiniest amount the reason why i'm using this and not a, a royal and um, the royal sort of gel is one i've run out <laughs> and two i like the white lines need to be so so thin that i find that i can do a lot more detailed work with this um white can you see how thick it how thick it is there and it's it, you mo the most tiniest amount and because it's so highly pigmented it doesn't lose the color and we only want the most smallest amount these white lines are not to be thick dead dead thin so I've loaded my brush and now I'm going to do my innies and outies again so I'm going to start off with my straight lines first and then I'm just going to make sure my brush is nicely coated. I was fiddling, wasn't I? So I'm going to go on the inside of this line here. Dead. Dead light. Hardly noticeable, but it's what it needs to give it that 3D look, to give it the dimension. Can you see it in there? Once we've got the mat on, you'll see it a little bit more. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more white, make sure my brush is not, this stuff won't like be bubbling. There's not enough on my brush, but I just want to make sure it's nice. So we've gone on the inside. We're doing the inside on this one here now. Okay. So 
start off from there and pull it down inside inside okay again here inside oh god that's my dog he's gone in the back garden i think he's been sick oh nice hector nice he's not very well today i don't know what's wrong with him he's got a bit of a cough oh um so we've done the inside of there now we want to do the inside of these original four squares again park your if you need to just making sure i'm in shot and i am focused so i'm gonna go along here oh i bet everyone can hear that as well poor thing and then this one got a little bit too much gel on the end of my brush you keep checking your brush make sure you've got and you haven't got like pools of gel on the end I'm going to press pause and make sure he's okay. I'm back. Um, so I want to go any there. I'm just putting the white line just above the black line. Um, so that's that band. So now I want to come along here. So it's not on top of the black line. It's just right next to it. So that's them. That's the lines down. This one here is really, really not very good. See, it's worth having a check as well because it does start making your eyes go funny. Okay, so now I'm going to start on this outer section here. Um, and this time I need it to go on the inny. So, pull it down. Pull it down. Oh, poo. Just making sure I'm in sharp. So that's that belt. This belt. Inny. Inny. Okay, and then... This would be the start of the next belt, so inny. Then I'm going to go around to the next side and do the same again. Okay, just making sure I'm in shard. Let me get rid of that, just in case it, it's focusing on that as well. So I'm going to go inny. Hang on. See, now my eyes have gone a bit funny. Any, any. So, any. No, I think I've gone the wrong way on this side. Hang on, let me think about this. Okay, I removed them lines. I've gone the wrong, on the wrong guinea. So what I'm going to do is put my first one on here and pull it down. Hmm. Sorry about that, but. You just, I just needed to have a proper look at it. I think because I'm trying to make sure that it stays in focus as well. That's 10 times better now. Just load my brush up because this one. So basically, if you start from the top, you go in on the top of that belt. Like that. Okay. And then the top of this one. Um, it was throwing me off because this and these it shouldn't be it shouldn't have been level and they were level so now I'm going to go over here and do exactly the same I'll turn this round and I will focus am I focused? yeah so again on top of the black line on top of the black line okay. 
So inside there. So when we put it like this now, you can see that you've got your, your belts woven in and out. So I'm just making sure that I'm doing it exactly the same from one side to the other. And do you know what? If you make a mistake, you just wipe it off and start again. It does make your eyes go a little bit haywire. So we're doing this next belt here. I'm pulling that up through there. So I'm just checking now that I've got everything done that I needed to do before I stick it in the lamp and cure it. And I think I have. So pop it in the lamp. I'm going to give it a full 60 second cure. Um, again, this white gel is non tacky, so you can leave it on top. I personally don't like it shiny. I, don't, I think you don't get the full effect. Um, on, on a shiny surface so I think um, matte top coat over the top again I'm going to be using this one um, so now this has had its full cure I'm going to um, hold on it's just turned four o'clock I'm going to apply my matte top coat all over And then give it a good zap, a full cure in your lamp. Whatever products you're using, follow the guidelines for them. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the lamp. Okay, so taking out the lamp, my top coat needs a cleanse. Uh, so to get rid of that tacky layer and then wait for it to dry off a little bit and there we have a very easy peasy woven design that looks 3d I'll stick it on here you might be able to see it and then i can focus and then we can see it So it's just a really quick one just to show you how you get that effect. It does look 3D, doesn't it? I do love doing it. Um, it does take, a, you know, a little bit of looking at it as well, innies, outies. Um, but that's just how I do it. So thanks for watching. And if anybody is interested in any of my mini online courses that I've just started releasing, then just send me a message. I've got a 3D one out at the moment. And next week, I think I might be covering maybe one stroke or maybe um i don't know i'll think of something pretty okay thank you bye